all right y'all welcome back welcome back man it's another episode of what i'm on it's 2021 so 2020 is over finally but the problems from 2020 ain't really over so we still got to solve them but that's a whole nother topic man but i'm doing this video to tell y'all how i'm investing um investing in myself in 2021 so let's get right to it all right i first want to start off by saying like i'm super like super grateful to make it to this year a lot of people haven't made it man i know a lot of people who almost didn't make it um it's a lot of losses from 2020 that are um going to still be felt that's why i just feel like it's, you can't forget 2020 because there are lives that were lost in 2020 that we can't forget like you can't forget about them um so i think you know it's it's i understand like wanting to move on and just forget everything but it don't really work like that um you know forgive and forget don't really work when you know lives are lost and permanently change and everything all right so as it pertains to me i'm really just trying to focus on 2021 being the year of investing for me you know spending spending time and energy is okay but i want to invest those things um because the way i see it you know time energy land are all very scarce resources they're so valuable because you really don't get much more like that 24 hours in a day we all have that that um wherever you live the whole earth they only have one planet so i mean they're trying to find more but for right now and for every everyday people we got one planet one house maybe one apartment whatever it is it's finite um and then your energy i mean you you only gonna be able to do so much in a day spending doesn't necessarily mean you have you're doing anything deliberately spending just means it's gone like you did something it was an action um investing implies intention it actually entails intention in the definition so the definition i got this from dictionary.com it's like the fourth or fifth definition of invest is to to use give or devote as for a purpose to achieve something so investing is more so about doing everything with a purpose so yeah that basically sums up my really my first thing like I'm, my first thing is to try to sh try to shift my mindset in 2021 from spending to investing um you know with everything that i do um the second thing is going back to 2020 um i wanted to release myself from people's opinions um and mostly they kind of manifested in me locking my hair up um and i feel like i've done pretty good at that like i love you know i love for people to engage and you know to offer you know advice and to you know critique to you know assist but when it comes to you know really thinking about what other people think on a daily basis you know in my decision making it i don't do that anymore um it's always a progress you know it's always a struggle but i feel like i'm you know really moving past that stage where i'm worrying about what other people are thinking before i even do something that's the biggest thing like you have a fear of what people are going to think about something you haven't even done come on bro as far as the locks go i feel pretty good i think i am like five weeks into my lock journey um i feel fine i feel like i got some hair that's starting to lock up some not so much um i'm just trying to figure out the right moisture routine which i pretty much have i got some rose water uh, i got some oil and i got like this refreshing moisturizing spray with like some uh, apple cider vinegar in it and some other things so basically the the refreshing spray i use every day i'm not using so i alternate days between the oil so it's water and oil or water and a refreshing spray um so i'm pretty good with that my scalp is still gets a little irritated so if y'all know anything that can like not necessarily an oil but something that can help like just ease um scalp irritation um that'll help but my scalp and my hair looks and seems pretty healthy y'all let me know if it does or it doesn't um but i'm okay i'm happy with it um i'm not you know too crazy about trying to over maintain and over you know pimper pamper trim and retwist every no like my locks is something to do like it's a journey like i take this slow um i'm going to take it slow so so the next thing i started like changing my mindset to investing my time is to really invest in myself and, like my spiritual um health um and just mental health is uh i'm going to start doing daily um devotionals or affirmations um just depending on the day sometimes i might do both when it comes to um the affirmations i really don't have a specific one or a specific source of affirmations so if you guys have a great source for aff affirmations that you may use or you know somebody that might use them um please comment down below because i need them um and it's not saying that i don't i feel empty inside or like i'm lacking something um it's more so trying to be better and like you know empower myself on a daily basis you know speak 
the things of myself that I know that I can do and will do and what I'm trying to see in my future. Um, so that's the purpose of all of that. The next thing, man, um, it comes back to this channel. Uh, I didn't start this channel just to, you know, talk about myself. Um, I'm really here to like help others um, and share what I have to offer to the world. Um, so with the Ujima channel, well, not the Ujima channel, with the Ujima playlist, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, different videos about different topics around economics. Um, I feel like you can't really change a system or, you know, use it to your advantage if you don't know how it works. Um, so I, if y'all don't know about me, I... Well, y'all don't know, but I, I graduated from UGA with a finance degree. I've also studied like how securities and all that stuff work outside of school. I love economics, microeconomics, mostly macroeconomics in school. Um, and also I just learned a lot of like little personal finance stuff from here and there. Um, just picking up throughout life. So I would love to share what I know and what I've learned the hard way or the easy way or others um, from others. I've learned that, you know, it's different things that we don't necessarily know. Um, I just want to empower everybody else, you know, to know what's going on. So, you know, the more you know, the more you grow, um, the more you can, you know, know better, do better, all of that. Um, I also feel like the system is going to get whatever it can out of you for sure. So you got to like figure out how to get what you can out of the system because it's going to win regardless until you change it until you know make it benefit you um us collectively we can do that but when it comes to you individually you got to learn how to get what you can out of this system man because you know people go to work for 40 years 50 years um and are exhausted and they didn't it don't show for nothing you know you just spent your time doing something you know it didn't really feel like you it was meaningful to you um so it goes back to like why I'm trying to invest, you know, if I'm going to be somewhere, I got to use whatever they give me for the 40 hours I give them to do something with my life that I really care about. That's purposeful for me. All right. And the final thing for this year, man, is just developing skills, soft skills. Um, i am definitely got to read. I think I read like 10, 11 books. I can't really tell because Audible doesn't tell me the date I finish or start it. But um, I definitely got to do another 12 books this year. Um, just, you know, keep growing and investing myself. Uh, a lot of these books, they have stuff, they telling you stuff that you kind of already know, but they go more in depth, but, um, I still need to learn more. It's a lot of like books. Everybody's read like the autobiography of Malcolm X, um, Richard Man in Babylon, like stuff like that, that I haven't read or listened to. Um, but I got to keep going, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up because I haven't read everything yet, but I'm going to just try to stay consistent, um, in reading, you know what I'm saying? Like read as much as I can, um, on a consistent basis. And also I like to take my time and read too, so I can like just let everything simmer. Like I can reflect on what I'm reading while I'm going through it. Cause I'm not just going to read a whole chapter and not critically think about what's going on and why they're saying this and the context of it all. I'm a slow reader, but. I'm going to read because I never read when I was younger. So, I mean, it's time to improve. No more excuses. You know, it's not the way I am. It's the way I've chosen to be. You feel me? So I've seen people like um, my my Neo, ja, ja Tech. shout out to him. He learned JavaScript. Um, so he's an inspiration. Like, they inspired me. Like, I can learn something new. Like, I've already taken a graphic design course. So I learned a little bit something new last year. Um, but I keep on to want to keep building on the skills I already have. Um, and also learn some new ones along the way. I don't know what they might be. So if y'all know some things that y'all might, um, if y'all know some skills or some courses um, that were like relatively cheap or just some, some books that, you know, taught, taught you some things that are really applicable and brought value to your life like immediately like that, let me know. Um, Cause I'm definitely looking for them. Um, and also just, I'm building skills, just trying to build myself and this channel up. Man. So yeah, that's how I'm investing in myself in 2021 it even sounds weird saying 2021 um but we're here man like if you made it i hope you're grateful I hope you feel grateful i know it's been a rough time for a lot of different people um but you know we're here now so you know i'm a person if i'm here and i still got time on this earth i'm gonna just try to make the best of it even though i'm not where i want to be they might be sending out 600 dollars checks but i need a three thousand dollar check you know what i'm saying like you know, I just got to say to myself, I'm not going to rely on somebody else to really make what I need happen to happen. So, I'm, you know, really, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to invest in myself to where, you know, I can have things in place where I don't need 
you know, the government or this particular person or this particular job to make sure that I'm okay. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm going to just encourage everybody to, you know, think about it. Like, think about how you're spending your time, your energy on stuff that doesn't serve you. Um, and not saying you got to be completely selfish, but I'm saying if it doesn't serve a purpose, it doesn't help anybody else and it's not helping you, then eh, like, what is it doing? <laughs> like, it's just there. It's just exists. It exists, but it's not really doing anything. You know, it has no real worth per se, unless you feel like it has worth. That's it. Um, it's going to be a great year. I'm excited for this year. A lot of things should be happening this year. So y'all be on the lookout. Um, but this is Marcus and I'm out. Thank you. I know you still there. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs>